is Ana, I'm from Portugal. Now I live in Shirebrook, uh, Nottingham. Since I was a little kid, my parents, my grandparents, everybody was like football here, football here, football, football, football. So you can grow up liking football. Even if you don't understand anything about that, you like it. It's always the same since I can remember. People usually go to some coffee, bar, some place where is a TV. Everybody is friends of everybody, drinking beer, eating something. And yeah, it's quite a big party when it's a big game. I was in, at home with my mom and when we saw that, we decided, okay, get, let's go out the streets. You can't go on the streets without celebrating. You just want to celebrate with everybody. So everybody at the same time went out and started to celebrate with flags, t-shirts, music, the cars horning. It, it, was, it was a massive party for two or three days. Yeah. I remember about the Euro, the last game, uh, Ronaldo, he was hurt in one of legs. Something happened, I don't, I'm not quite sure what. And the moment that I understood that he wouldn't play in that game anymore, I started crying. I don't know why, I, I just started crying, you know, because it's the thing, he's really, really famous. No, I was like crying like a baby. Oh no, without Ronaldo we are going to lose and we win. It was, yeah, I think that was the best. It, it really, finally, we never won anything like that. I don't have favorite one. I grew up with my dad being like, oh, you have to be Benfica. Your club is Benfica. And I'm like, okay, I'm Benfica. But then I grew up, I'm like, Oh, but maybe I like Porto, they, they are two quite big clubs in Portugal. And I'm like, no, I, I don't support any in particular. When they are playing, uh, when there is a game or something, I'm like, okay, today this team should win. Drink a beer, definitely, it's the first thing. When you decide to see a game, you have to drink a beer, you have to be like that with the glass in your hand and complaining about that's the thing, yeah, the only thing that always everybody, not the only me, everybody does that, yeah. Although I really like Ronaldo, of course, but we had a great one, he's, till now it's one of the best, even with Ronaldo, it's Eusebio, he died a few years ago and he was just awesome awesome we won a lot of things because of him i don't quite remember a lot of him because i was little but i, I remember my dad talking about it i remember watching some things and seeing him on the nose even when he stopped playing and i know that portugal at one point uh, got famous uh, people were talking about portugal because of him yeah so definitely it was like Ronaldo definitely, never Messi, never. I think even if I didn't have Ronaldo, I would choose another player. I don't like Messi, sorry. There is something about him. You know, when you look at people and you are like, oh, I don't like you. That's the thing I have with him. I can't, no. Oh, I'm that crazy one that I don't talk a lot about it. I'm like, when I go out with my friends, that's not the first thing that I talk about. But when there is a game that I really like, it's like everybody shut up. I'm go and I'm there in the chair and complaining against the TV and complaining and screaming and go go go. We already won the Euro. I would like, of course, I would like. I would be crazy about it if Portugal won. I would buy a flight to Portugal and celebrate with them. But. I don't think that's possible. The World Cup is all about the best football players, the best teams, the best everything, you know. We are a small country, we have 
the best football player in the whole world. We have a really, really nice team, our team this year. I think it's really, really nice. We have chances to go further than the other World Cups, but winning, I don't think that's possible. Maybe third place, I would be happy with that, yeah. Germany is quite good, yeah. Brazil, Brazil is quite good as well. Spain, maybe. What is the Cristiano Ronaldo's existence mean for Portuguese people? It means a lot because, as I said, Portugal is a really, really small country. It's and with Ronaldo, we just are all around the world. All, the entire world speaks about us just because of him, because he goes and he wins everything. He does a lot of good things for other people. It just makes Portugal famous in a way, you know, because till some years people were like, oh, where is Portugal? You know, some years ago I was like, oh, what kind of language do you speak in Portuguese? And I'm like, Portuguese? Oh, I thought it was Spanish. Now it's like, oh, you're from Portugal, you're from Ronaldo. Yes, it's different. People know us as a country better. Everybody's proud of Ronaldo. <laughs>